the Fat Quarter Shop. Welcome to this episode of the Classic and Vintage series. Today we're working on the Jacobs Ladder Block using Joe Morton fabrics for rich, beautiful colors. You can download the free block pattern at Fat Quarter Shop, or if you want multiple sizes, we have a low price pattern available also. So let's get started and let me show you how to make this block. For the Jacobs Ladder Block, there's five four patch blocks and we're gonna start with that. First, you're gonna take a fabric B strip and a fabric D strip, stitch them together. I'm gonna to use a quarter inch seam allowance, 2.0 stitch length, and RFL color 2810. Your strip is going to look like this and we're gonna press this open, just really nice and flat. You're gonna make two of these strip sets and then we're gonna sub cut. I'm gonna use a Creative Grids ruler because they're my favorite. On the seam, I'm gonna place a line on the ruler on the line on the seam. Trim one edge, and then from each strip set, we're gonna cut five two and a half by four and a half inch rectangles, and you'll make a total of 10. So first what I like to do is I'll cut at the five inch line and I'm lining up this line and this line, and then I'll move to two and a half. Now we're going to complete our four patch. You're going to place two units right sides together and you're going to pin right at the intersection first. And I really like to pin for accuracy, so I'm going to also pin at the end and the beginning. And then I'm going to stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance and we're going to press those open and you're going to make five four patches. Now we're gonna make four half square triangles. You're gonna take a fabric A square and a fabric C square and place them right sides together. I'm gonna to pin in two opposing corners and then I'm gonna draw a line in the center from point to point. And I'm using a friction pin since the ink will disappear with heat later. Now what we need to do is stitch a quarter inch away from the center on both sides. So I'm gonna draw another line because it makes it a lot easier for me when I go to the sewing machine and it makes it faster for me. So now we're gonna go sew and we're gonna sew on these two outer lines. I'm gonna be using black thread so you can see my stitches but normally you would just use the thread that you were using previously. And you're gonna do this on both fabric A and C squares. Now we're gonna cut on the center line that we made. And your cut does not have to be accurate. And now I'm going to set my seam with a lot of steam, press to the dark side, and then I will cut these little dog ears off. And then I'm going to press open. I always think it's easier to start by pressing to one side and then press open. and you're gonna make four half square triangles. So now we're ready to put all of our units into our block. First, I like to lay out all of my four patches. All the darks go the same direction and all your lights go the same direction. Then I put my half square triangles in and your darks face the center. Whenever I'm sewing any type of block, I always lay it out and double check it because I really don't like to unrip my stitches. 
So you're gonna just assemble your block and press according to the pattern, and when you make your quilt, all your seams are going to nest. I love the simplicity of the Jacobs Ladder Block, and it looks great in any color combination. If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.